the crops. Hello everybody and welcome back to Lightyear Frontier where we have noxious bubbles. Oh no. Grab the ones that are directly above my crops and only those because uh, sadly I might run out of water otherwise. It's happened before. That one needs to go down. That one needs to go down. Then I can do a water refill and grab anything left. I just don't want you on my crops. You can go around my crops and I'll tidy it up later. I'm nearly out of water completely. Really careful here. Oh, nice what? One. What a start to the day. Good grief. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Lightyear Frontier. And uh, I, s I managed to save my crops. Woohoo! Yay! So let's change to the vacuum harvester and pull up some water. And let's have a look. So we were, I just want to remind myself what we were doing last episode. So we were trying basically to get things together to get either a vacuum hose upgrade or a, or a vacuum cleaner upgrade, one of the two. And I think they're required to uh, progress further. So I needed ravage oil. So those ravages needed desperately protecting. And we also need to make some red crystal dust. Okay. And then for this side, we need copper wire and karoot oil. So we have ravages and karoots both planted at the moment. We're just waiting for them. So I'll make oil out of them as soon as I can. So we need to make some copper wire. Uh, oh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, dust. Dust, I mean dust, dust, dust. I need to water my crops as well as getting rid of all this noxious sludge as well though before we do anything more because I don't want noxious slime in my farm I might need to do another refill before I uh, before I do my crops this morning though Bigger water tank can't come soon enough. I think when I do these poly, this set of poly berries, I might be able to get a slightly bigger water tank going, and that'll help immensely. Oops. Sorry, I am bringing up all sorts of stuff. I want to just bring up my vacuum harvester. My fingers don't know what they're doing today. I swear. I just woke up. That's probably why. My fingers haven't woken up yet. My brain and the rest of my body has, but my fingers are like, nah, we're on strike. So, yeah, I'm pretty much ignoring the quests at the moment. I'm just doing the bits I want to do to progress. I can't remember. Did I manage to upgrade to the better? Let me see. No, I don't think I did. That's I don't think I've got the uh, better hose pipe yet, though. I really need a bigger water tank. I can't be going back down here like three times every time I need to water the plants. Come on. I mean, I know it's not too far away, but... But yeah, I'll do things like I'll sort uh, while I'm waiting for all of this to be. Oh no 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 wrong thing. Uh, while I'm waiting for all this to 
ripen, which I should do by tomorrow, I think. So we do have carrots there, and we've got over there, we've got a few um, ravages. I think we could maybe do with some more ravages, though. I think we have enough for what we need, but it wouldn't hurt to have some more, I don't think, either. Maybe another six or so to finish the crop plots out. So I might get some more seeds and then the next time we put some in we can fill two crop planters with the weeds at that point. I think that's what we're going to do. We don't want a noxious weed in our flower beds either. Stupid thing. And maybe I could finish off these uh, planters as well today. Oh, I missed a noxious slime. Alright, there we are. That's gone. Perfect. I probably today need to finish off that as well. So I think we need to be pretty much we need to get some wood, don't we? Sorry, little little dudes. I scare them all the time. It's so bad. Ah, you scared it. Oh no, you scared it. Uh, okay. Ah, sorry. I actually have some polyberries to make polyberry oil with. Hang on, let's get those going. Let's go get like 10 of those going. Alright, and then let's go and see if we can pop a wire, aluminium rod and stone. Okay. Well, how about we go on a big stone and wood finding mission for a bit. no point going to the areas every day they don't fully restock every day so i can leave them for a couple of days and then just go and completely wipe them out of resources and then leave them for another couple of days so that's what we'll do with um edge cliffs and probably pine heights as well i think i recently went and got all the aluminium over there as well so i think we're good for for today just to do stone and wood and then we can do aluminium and copper tomorrow Um, if I get any spare time at all, we'll go and check out the other two areas. Is it two or three? I think it's two that we haven't checked out so far. So I'll show you on the map. We've got, well, it is actually three, but I don't think I'm getting over there anytime soon. But uh, these two areas. So we've checked the Lowland Plains and Stepstone Peak. So maybe if we head up to Stepstone Peak and then turn to the left and go and see what we've got in these two areas. Maybe I could just do the upgrades first. And then we're guaranteed to be able to clear them, aren't we? Maybe that's just better. Um, okay. I've lost home. Oh, it's right there. I'm not cutting down every tree around the place. I'm just going to sort of do a little bit. So it looks like there's enough to make those planters. Uh, time for some action. So that'll be wonderful for the next time we get something new. I don't know where I'm going to actually find wheat, which is why I kind of bought it off because uh, I hadn't seen it before. So some copper wire. Let's go and uh, go to my chests and have a look at what if we've got any copper around. Oh, I need to finish off my barrel, don't I? I think I need to go somewhere else to get that hardwood, though, don't I? Yeah. Okay. I need, I've got six hardwood, which is not enough by a long way. So I'll put the polyberry seeds in the cauliflower back. Oh, no. That's the chest. That's my inventory. Put the poly oil in. Poly, spare polyberries in. And those noxious pods. And those tree seeds. It's getting dark already. Wow. I'm picking up these polyberry oils. How many have we got left? So there's uh, there's doing three each. I've got room for another two. Okay. I think we'd be best off sleeping actually at this point. 
sometimes it's worth doing things in the dark sometimes you just need the crops and you need to turn the day so you know. hey hope you're well this fine morning i can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday you've really got an eye for that kind of thing so the poly berries are ready So, and it looks like the ravages might be... Oh no, I think the ravages are going to be tomorrow and the karoots might be tomorrow or the next day. So that's fine. We've got another day where we can just uh, build up the farm. So what I'm looking for today is to make a little bit of copper wire. Four, if I can. We're just trying to make this grinder. We're just trying to get, get that up and running for the start of the episode, basically. And then any aluminium rods I've got, and then any we'll go and get we'll go and harvest redstones and aluminium, I guess. Or maybe they should stop running under my mech's feet. That might help too. Um polyberry seeds there. Oh, I need to replant those, don't I probably? Don't think it would hurt to replant the polyberries. So let's uh, get the seed shooter out. And yeah, if we upgrade it again, we can do two planters at once, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but let me, before I water, make the other oils. Or maybe not. Maybe I should water first, actually. I can't remember whether I watered the pot, the uh, carrots yesterday. They looked watered, but I, it might be a bit of a... It might be a bit of a um, optical illusion with them, so I will make sure I water them properly today. I might be delaying their growth. I don't think things die in this if you don't water, but I think it definitely delays their growth if you don't. Merchants arriving, but I'm not. I've not been particularly interested in things the merchant has to sell, to be honest. The only way you can tell if they're watered is the tiny boxes disappearing as you water them. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, I've got about enough for two planters at the moment and it's like, ugh. <clears throat> so I think it would be nice to have a drink of tea and clear my throat out. But it would also be nice to have like a bigger <laughs> water tank. Ugh. So we're very close to having that. Uh, just need the oils. In four minutes time, we'll have a big water tank. I think I was aiming at the bush there and not the water. So that'll be enough to water the poly berries and then I'll probably need another tank full to do the ravages and the one thing of wheat. Not sure they appreciate a stomping mech. Well, I wasn't trying to get close to them. They were in my way. They can get... A my way or the highway they can get out of my way this will hold it over until tomorrow okay we've got a little bit of this done i think i'm still gonna have to do another one though yeah just for the wheat and everything and then i need to vacuum the weeds out That's another six polyberry oil. How are they? They're still doing the last one. So by the time I finish my watering, we'll have the watering upgrade, which is hilarious. But, you know, I'll help every day on from now. Imagine, this is why I built fairly close to water. Imagine if I was like miles away from water and I had to run over to the water every time. It would be a nightmare. Doesn't seem to matter if the mech if the mech uh, goes on your crops. It seems to be kind of okay. 
And it seems like the crops resist the vacuum, but they don't resist the spike. So be really careful with your spike around here. I, I already have spiked one crop, I think. Uh, in typical Shelab style. It wouldn't be me if I didn't pickaxe a crop or water the bed. And I don't think you can water the bed in this, so... Mm. My last two are done. My last two are done. Yes. Get in there, mech. Ah. Right, so. I want. I want my poly berry water tank upgrade. I want the hydro splash as well. Aluminium parts for that. So that's just copper and aluminium, isn't it? So we could definitely get that done soon. Right then, let's get in the mech and fill the water up and see how much, see if we can tell the difference, I don't know. Don't know if we'll be able to tell the difference or not. But I'm very excited to have extra water capacity, so let's see, so uh, vacuum harvester. I think that was a full water tank, I think I've got about an extra 50% in there, so that's wonderful, that's going to be so useful. So many less trips. It might be two trips instead of three, you know. Um, and as the the farm increases, that's going to be super useful as well. So let's see if we can make some... Was it aluminium electronics or aluminium parts? I, I get confused between those two, sadly. So we're actually just going to have to check. Don't want to make the wrong thing. Aluminium electronics. If I could make 10 of them, I could have an inventory capacity and the hydro hose splash. And then we can make paths with the path maker pretty soon. We need a power core, which I don't know how to get for the thruster boost. And I could increase the sprint speed if we made a load of caru oil. So I could save that up. Um, the first thing we want to do, though, is the vacuum harvester power to go up. But then we could start saving, the, continue to plant the carrots and uh, save them up for a sprint speed upgrade. That sounds like a good idea. Ah! I fell down. Just rechecking, it is definitely aluminium parts. Okay. Let's make 10 aluminium parts. So for that, we're probably going to need some aluminium. Do we have aluminium is the question. Well, lots of copper at the moment, but we've only got five aluminium. I think we're going to need probably a bit more than that. There's some over here that I can grab. Move. And there's some up there as well, look. So we don't even need to go that far for aluminium at the moment. Which is wonderful. Yeah, so far the the merchant really has just been about um, cosmetics to me and maybe the odd seed that I could probably find on my own. So I'm not that worried about that. Oh, that's a whole new resource discovered. Nice. So does that mean that we've discovered all of the resources in the meadow yet? No, so there might well be a red colour flower here somewhere that I have not found. I'm not sure though. Oh, I could feed this dead. nest. Over encumbered doesn't, yeah, I was going to say it doesn't usually mean, it means I'm slow. Doesn't usually mean I can't pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Right, so I've got plenty of aluminium to take back to my place. At very slow speeds, apparently. Oh, that's okay. And it gives me time for another sip of tea while I'm <laughs> while I'm waiting. It's also already evening again, so it's like 10 minutes a day in this, which is wonderful. Or you can turn the day over quick, even quicker than that if you want to. Um, 
But I think I will go and make the aluminium parts if I can. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's just polyberry oil. So I could definitely make five of them, but I'll need some more polyberry oil to make the rest. Actually, no, I do have some polyberries stashed away, I think. It could be oil. And I also have some more oil. I know I've got more polyberries than that. I've got another four polyberries as well. And another seven polyberry oil there. So actually, I don't even need to make the polyberries into polyberry oil. It might be useful to do it, though. But maybe later, because what I don't want... Oh, I've got cauliflower sprouts. Nice. Uh, what I don't want is for the... Um, uh, for the oil makers to be busy when I want to make ravages and karoot oil tomorrow. So we want to maybe do the, the polyberry oil after that. So aluminium parts, I want to make 10. Apparently I can't. Well, I'll make the three I can make. I think maybe we need some more aluminium for that. Is that right? No, I've got 23 aluminium. I've got five polyberry oil. Maybe it can only make a certain amount at once then. But that seems like I maybe do need more polyberry oil. How much do I need per, per one? Three polyberry oil per... Oh, okay. We definitely do need to put it on then. Okay. Make as much as I can. There we are. Six polyberry oil on the way. So that'll make another couple. That'll be enough for one of my upgrades. And then I'll need to do the other one. Okay, I think time to sleep now then. And that's us on day nine. And there's loads of polybarra well, all around. Partner, why don't we try and plant some seeds today, huh? Always what? good to have more crops in the harvest cycle. Been planting loads of them. Right, so that's another two aluminium parts. So let's go and upgrade the guy and it looks like the karoots and everything are ready as well so we can uh, harvest those today and replant them. Let's upgrade you my guy. So we can now do a... Hydro... Ho oh. I think the actual... Oh, it's electronics for the the one of them and it's parts for the other one okay why do i only have three of those parts i thought i'd made five did i stick them in a chest or something it's the sort of thing i might have done i'm not in any of those chests no oh that's super annoying what happened there Red done and ready to maybe go. they're on the oh look they're on the ground look they're all on the ground there Let's get this boy upgraded. Boy spelt B O I. Right. So that's the hydro splash ready. And then we need the upgraded irrigation hose. So all of those were actually quite easy to make. I don't think it should be too hard to make some aluminium electronics for an inventory upgrade either. Rabbage oil we'll start to make today. I'm just going to harvest everything and start making oils. Because they are red there. weed those while I'm at it. Uh, I need to be unencumbered by the time I'm ready to... Right then. Nice job. So oil press. Let's make uh... rabbage oil, I guess. That 
looks like I can make 12 of them or something. That makes sense. And then after that, we'll make a load of Karoot oil. Cool. So in the meantime, what we need to do is replant in all of the uh, rabbit seeds again. And all of the Karoot seeds again. Looks like uh, we're changing where we're putting them. It's fine, I don't care where they go, as long as they're all in the same plant as each other. Fresh soil, neat sea. So I think once we've done our watering, um, and now we should be able to do watering in a very different way, so... Let me just see how this works. I think it should work the same. Hmm. Ah, right. No, it's not the same at all. missed that one with the water bomb, didn't I? Saves on a lot of water. That is so much easier. The wheat looks like it might be ready, actually. It is. Nice. Can make haystacks and hay bales and things. And I did get some wheat seeds, so we can just um, pop them back in. That is my wheat mound, even though I don't have that much wheat to go in it. Right, so I think my next job today finish this grinder and then I need to be making some oh I could make some stone dust couldn't I so I could see what can be made out of stone dust quickly I ideally in this is the sort of game where you want to make everything and then what I need to do is to put away all my gubbins I think I'm gonna finally make that that last um, box and you know the box is for, just for me to basically chuck everything into the rabbit oil is almost done hmm if that's the case i'll start it on karoot oil in a minute oh no it's like nowhere near done it's got a couple of minutes yet okay well, we'll shove the the oil in there um I want to plant the karoots. No, we've got karoots. So they want to go away, actually. I've planted everything I need to plant. Yes, so far, anyway. Until I get something new that I can... That I can plant in. So let's head and get some red crystals. So we can make some red crystal powder. you coal deposit nice might be able to make new things if I found coal doesn't look like it though so I don't know maybe something later will require it I'll stick it in a chest and see yeah I've learned my lesson don't tip the mech and I might go and do a little bit of an aluminium um, grab. Also, I'm going to look and see if there's any new carrot. Uh, sorry, not carrot. It's ravages up here, isn't it? Any new ravage seeds? Because we could do with like another six, so that I'm getting a full two loads of it each time. Ah, you scared it. 
I am not being a good to the animals, doing a good to the animals playthrough right now. We're doing a scaring off the animals playthrough for now. Oh yeah, absolutely perfect. That's the six I need. Nice job. Okay. Now let's go and uh, ravage <laughs> the aluminium. Oh, I am such a wag. That's such an old thing to say, isn't it? Like, say that in the 20s. My grandfather would say that. But I just want to make sure I've always got enough aluminium and copper. So we'll just do a little bit of an aluminium and copper run while I'm waiting for the Karoot oil and the other oils to, to go. So what we'll do, we'll bring all of this back, stick it in a chest. <clears throat> I will then... I will then um, go and find copper while the Karoot oil is processing. And that will be very nice. I'm getting loads of aluminium. I'm going to be over encumbered at this rate. But the more aluminium and copper I have, I can then actually, one thing I might do while I'm back there as well is work on the... Ooh, one more over here. Nice. Work on the inventory upgrades because that's going to be super useful. That very last one over encumbered me. Yeah, we need that upgrade. I've got enough copper and aluminium to do it, so if I've got enough... I think the rule should be if I've got enough stuff to make an upgrade, it should be made. And make my life easier. I'm very glad that it's only Pine Heights and it's not too far away. Look how nice my place is looking now. That's looking like a proper little farm, right? Proper little farm. I'm enjoying how that looks. Put a few things away though. So the rabbit seeds need to be... Oh, everything needs to be processed except for the... The coal can go away somewhere. So that should um, unencumber me, hopefully. The rabbit seeds we will plant so that they can be in line with everything else. water them. No, I need some more water soon. But we're doing great. Our farming is doing fantastically well at the moment. I'm really pleased with it. I'll get some more hardwood at some point when I'm on my journeys. And we want to make some aluminium electronics now. I need to pick up some copper. So I'm going to need uh, one piece of copper wire. Uh, so I'll need like 10 pieces of copper. Which I think I've got. Yeah, we've got 12, so just got enough. I could do with doing another copper run, though, definitely. So let me make five copper wire. Now I can make five electronics. Fingers crossed. Do I not have... Did I put all my aluminium away? Oh, no, I didn't pick up the... Sometimes things don't pick up properly. Five. Perfect. That means now I can go and upgrade to get a bigger inventory, which is very useful. So the, the mech will be able to hold more. In fact, how much does the All mech right. hold? Let's get to work. How much does the mech hold at the moment? So the mech now holds 60 kilos at the moment. And then we can see how what the difference is then, you see. I can I can tell you how much of a difference it makes. So there we are, inventory capacity, so... I've finally got an achievement for getting 10 upgrades, but I've only got, like, 5. Weird. So now we can carry 90, so we've got a 50% upgrade on our inventory capacity. Well, that's going to be super useful, isn't it? Yes. Right, so my next job is to make some carrot oil. 
I think my carrots might be in a chest. Hmm. Well, lots of rabbage oil. There was something else that I could do with the rabbage oil, wasn't there? I don't know if I need to make red dust for that, though. Let me go and make red dust out of the dust that I've got. I think I might need one more red crystal. Oh, no. Ten red crystal dust is only five red crystals. So that's perfect. I need four aluminium frames. I could do that before I go to bed, couldn't I? Quickly. Aluminium frame. One, two, three, four. Oh, I should make a piece of clay as well. I can now make pots, garden gnomes, larger plots, and brick fences. Mmm. That's all right. Let's have a look at my build menu now. So I've now got a furnace that I can make with clay and wood. So we should probably make one of those. Does that go in here? There we go. Beautiful. And then again, I'll just, I just I I leave things as ghosts to remind me to do them, basically. And then when I get time to get the materials together, I'll finish them off. Right, did we do the Karoot oil yet? Did I even find those Karoots yet? No, probably not. Knowing me. I put them somewhere. There they are. Lovely, that's all done. Again, put things away so that I can be all happy tomorrow. Uh, right. Was it carry oil and stone dust? Because we've now got all of the oil we need, so I just need to work on the other um, things. So, five copper wire. Copper run then. And one red crystal in the morning. Got time for a copper run. I think it's yeah, I think we need to, to turn the Let's night over. Then tomorrow we're gonna get some copper. Uh uh and another no, we've got enough red crystals, haven't we? We're just waiting for the red crystals to be done. They're all in that bush. I've got four of them. Okay, so if I turn the night over, then the red crystals will be done by by morning. Yeah, that would work. Right and, Ooh, and it's raining. So what a moon. That new building you made yesterday. Would be a shame to just leave it hanging. It would. But I need to do my upgrades first, don't I? I need to replant my polyberries, so I've got plenty of polyberries. Um, if the carrot oil is all done, I might just make polyberry oil. I think it is, so we'll just stick six of that on. I'm glad to have made two oil makers, I'll tell you that right now. Right, red crystal dust, here we go. Hopefully it's all made and sitting in that tree. Yeah. Right, so I think now we can do a, a really cool upgrade. Don't let me forget to replant my polyberries. I don't think I did it. There's no rabbage oil. Oh, that's in the chest though. I need copper, yeah, I need copper wire to go with the Karoot oil. So we'll, we'll do a copper run in a minute. Um, where's my rabbage oil? I definitely had some. Polyberry. Plant. Rabbage. Rabbage oil, oh yeah.
So, irrigation hose upgrade. Done. So now we need to get some copper and do my vacuum upgrade. And like I said, I need to replant my poly berries because I was very bad and didn't do it. Put those together, I think, if I can. Let's take the oil out and put that somewhere else. And the colour flowers and the seeds and stuff. I'm going to try and start being a bit more... Uh clever about where I put things so how about we take we have a one for like seeds and things and plant fiber and stuff like that this one can be for like stone wood and I can't rename the storage which sucks so this one could be for seeds anything that's not a seed uh, actually Seeds and veggies could be fine. So stone dust and coal and clay all needs to come out. And then the noxious seeds, geode shards need to come out. And then all of the seeds can go back in. And all of like the colour flowers and all that sort of stuff can go back in. So that one's all for seeds. This one here is all for... This one can be for oil. Uh, that one's already run out of room. Lovely. So how about wood can go somewhere else? In fact, just metals in here. And everything else can go somewhere else. Take metals out of there. Put fibre and coal and wood and stones and stone dust in and things like that. Ah, take the fibre out. Oil's in there. And there. And then maybe the fibre could go in with all the seeds. Okay. That seems decent. We'll see what kind of weight that can hold. The hardwoods, uh, kegs, that might be really useful. Possibly we could just have a few alongside the house rather than having these uh, massive tubs, but we'll see. Talking about oil, we've got a whole load of polyberry oil there, which is wonderful. So I'll stick that back in the oil chest as well. Yeah, so we're getting a nice little sort of... Nice little collection there. Uh, I don't know where all my... Did I use all of my ravage oil? No way. I knew there was another oil somewhere. So we've got like oil storage. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Nice. Right then, uh, polyberry seeds should be on the seed chest then. So now we know where things are, which is useful. And I'm gonna just uh, plant a couple of those, plant is worth of those. even like let's see how big a large planter is i'm like super interested in that now making some good progress on this aren't we a large plot 25 plants that's super cool but why give me the upgrades right the upgrade to the uh, thing is to do 18 plots at a time. And then you give me a plant that does 25. No, don't even start with that nonsense scheme. <laughs> it was the upgrade to the, I think it was the seed shooter or something. You do 18 at a time. It's like, well, well why, why give me a plot that's 25 and give me upgrades that don't go in line with the upgrade to the plot, planter plot? That's stupid. <laughs> I could make a noxious spore out of a noxious... That's how we make power cores! Yes, okay. Let's go get my noxious 
Watch the spores then. Watch this pod. Put that in the grinder, make some noxious spores. And then it's we're gonna be able to make a load of strange constructs as well, possibly. But yeah, let's make one of those. And all I'm looking for when I'm like making if I see anything in a in a thing in a, in a new machine or whatever that is a new thing I haven't had before, I always want to try and make it so that it can unlock recipes for me we've gotten quite a way through the day and i still haven't gone yeah power core recipe new recipe power core build but it's just a case of where is it it's a recipe so it might be in the constructor the assembler maybe Power core, here we are. And I need that in the advanced furnace. And I need eight noxious spores to do it. I see, so next time we have a, a bubble attack, I might be able to get some noxious spores. Wonderful. I'm gonna stick all my noxious pods in then and grind them all up into noxious spores. And maybe I can make a power core, because some of the upgrades need power cores. Let's just make a load of them. And then I'm off to get some copper, and see if I can do anything with my new upgrade. While I'm over there. Because we uh, once we've got copper, we've got all the upgrades we need. Unless we need upgrade number two. Well, I might need upgrade number two for some of them. is up here still haven't quite managed to make myself a, a an extra sprint so as soon as my carrot seeds have had i think i've got 18 growing and i think i need 36 to do that so it should be two more plantings and then i will have that done unless i want to make some more which i'm not sure i do unless i want to make some more planters for it We shall see. So we've got copper here. It's the evening time though. And there should be another one up the top there. Oh, and then I forget, there's all these ones down here, aren't there? That's going to be better than getting that stupid one by the lake, right? There's three, three or four down here. Look, there we are. Actually, there's six down here. There's two hiding behind a rock. And because of my increased carry weight, look, we can get loads of copper. Might even have been seven, actually. So this lowlands area needs a vacuum upgrade. So we can't clear that out yet. All right, so what I'm thinking now is um i know i this area here looks like it's slimes and i just upgraded my i can see like red glowing things i'm pretty sure we came up here before and it was slimes so what i'm thinking is that we might be able to clear this one now so stepstone peak yeah i was able to pull up the weeds wasn't i up here i think i tried it and that's why we've got eight percent because we've got the the vacuum harvester pulled up the weeds okay 
Yeah. So we can get rid of all of these noxious weeds, and then I think we probably will be able to sploosh away these. Yes, we can. So this area can be done now. Perfect. It'd be really nice to have an area or two cleared again by the end of this episode. Oh, water too deep. Scary! Scary water. Nah, tea went too cold. Swapping it for soda. <laughs> so bad. So let's move to the irrigation hose and just do the things all around the, the pond. So we can easily... And this is going to be so much easier with a increased water tank, isn't it? Gee, look at the... Look how fast the water's getting used, even with 50% extra. Glad I did that before I had this place to clear out. Okay, we're 40% of the way through though, so it's not like too bad, but gee, yeah. It'd be nice if I could get this done before the end of night, and then it could be ready for me in the morning. But we'll see how we go. We might not be able to be fast enough for that. I feel like some kind of ghost buster or something. Who are you gonna call? Lady Sheila. <laughs> Could have told you that would happen. Irrigation hose, fly over quickly. Get it gone. Only halfway through. We might not get this done by morning. But I will try my hardest to. I have removed a certain amount of spotted slimes. Noxious slimes, sorry. Spotless spines. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have enough bubbles for, like, uh, those noxious spores for, like, one power core. So I'm going to have to choose really carefully what I use it for, I guess. I'm seeing them need needing to be used all over the place. And it is a random event, so I don't know if later on we'll be able to find them somewhere. Right, I'll top the thing up and then we'll go up the top then. Pop the tank up. I think it gives you a caution like well before you would have a problem. I can see all of those artifacts over there. I'm like, ooh, but I'm not doing artifacts yet. Uh, like I say, I'm only, because this is kind of like a mini-series I'm doing, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do. I want to do things that are going to be, um, pertinent to the progress I'm making at the moment, rather than trying to save for something that might be endgame, if we might not end up doing endgame. So, I don't want to make you watch me find loads of artifacts when it's not even a thing, you know. Let's see if I can just fly down here. Without tipping the mech. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy now. The answer to that was no. Still probably slightly faster than. Oh, it's looking like nearly morning. <laughs> Do 
Come on, we can do this thing. I'm not sure whether the upgrade I've got to splash things works on slimes. more somewhere i don't think i'm making this before night uh, turns over sadly but what we will do is go back and uh 88 percent so where i'm missing some somewhere i think oh it's daytime yeah we didn't do it so i'll just quickly finish that off then we'll take our copper back and I'll go and do the next Wakey upgrade. Wakey, Let's build something jaw-dropping today. Something that'll inspire us when we do a hard day's work. I definitely missed something somewhere around here, haven't I? Maybe down the path a bit or something? I can see some eggs up there. In a bird nest. weeds anywhere oh i see a whole patch of weeds up there right that's it that's what we need to go and do go and sort those out and that's probably that's probably all it was i was just probably a couple of minutes out on it yeah if i'd have done those on the way through i probably would have got Look it another region fit for life but never mind you want to know what prp3r stands for it's Planetary Inhabitability Probe, the generation of life. First part's pretty self-explanatory. I look at a planet and tell Earth if it can sustain human life. Third generation is the energy readings are still on the rise here. Keep working at it. So what I would say is that my next... That one's running, isn't it? Um, but that my next uh, job will be get the vacuum upgrade and then I'm just going to go in like run around all the different areas and see if there's any that i can then um sort out of the ones that i haven't looked at yet and also see if the lowland plains can be done with that upgrade or whether they need another upgrade i'm aware that there's two upgrades i have a feeling that there's probably going to be two areas that i can do without upgrades two areas that i can do with upgrade one and two areas that i can do with upgrade twos that would make sense to me anyway might not be actually how it works but I guess I'll see when I get there my noxious spores all done oh yep in my inventory nice six of them do I only have seven because if I don't have quite enough to make a power core that would be really irritating six there One there. Yeah, I've got seven and you need eight for a core, so. Oh, but we've got more noxious pods. Okay, well that's that makes it better then, doesn't it? Let's make some more noxious spores. Wonderful. I've got some wheat ready today. do a bit of weeding because uh, obviously where I've left planters free I've got uh, weeds sprouting up oh yeah so the copper I needed five copper wire from that's what I was that's what I was missing wasn't it and I should have that in my inventory right now five copper wire done and then I need 
my thoughts are Karoot oil. But I'm going to take the Rabbage and the Karoot just in case. Because <laughs> I can't remember which. Having that inventory a little bit more organized helps hugely with stuff like that, doesn't it? So vacuum harvester done. I can also at the moment make the path maker. So I could make paths around my farm, which would be kind of cool actually. Um, I'm very close to getting a, a thruster boost with the power core. I haven't worked out how to make lenses and steel yet. Probably something to do with my furnace, I would imagine. But I think we're okay with what we're doing at the moment. Um, what do I need for the furnace? Can I maybe get that together a bit? 12 clay. So let's make some stone dust in the grinder. If I haven't... Four noxious spores already. The grinder's quite quick, actually. So I need stone. Do I have stone in any of my chests? This is the question next. Gotta find the right the right storage now. That's the metal, that's the I'll get used to it though. Alright, I'm gonna grind up all those stones. Right, that should be enough. That should be six times two for twelve. Let's put a few things away as well. So I'm going to put away all of my wheat and my plant fiber. I'm going to put away all of my oils. Uh, noxious spores could maybe go in with the oils. I guess it's a, it's kind of a... Yeah, it makes sense to me anyway. It's kind of a processed thing. And then metals, I'll put the copper in. Mm. Might need to put the copper in somewhere else. With the oils maybe for now oh gosh that's all over the place isn't it that's a shame maybe maybe when we make barrels they'll hold things a bit easier or maybe i can i don't know make something that just holds copper at some point so i need 12 wood do i have any wood in here at the moment hardwood there that shouldn't even be in that box actually should it it should be in this one at the back 16 wood so i could put that straight into the furnace oh and then i need it's clay i need actually isn't it clay for a furnace i don't know what i, could, what I can make in a furnace it'll be interesting to know won't it but it seems as i need the stone dust to make the clay anyway it's fine We've got any stone dust yet? The stone dust take ages, sort of something. It takes a minute each. Oh, I've got four. Okay, let's make some clay and stick it in. Clay! Times four. I think I might have a fifth one in a box somewhere. I'm sure I do, actually. Yeah, let's stick that on there as well. So furnace is on the way. Um, I've built basically everything I can build at this point, I think. Got my house, got my shared oil press. I don't have the fodder oven yet, but that's a conscious decision. I've done the flour press, done the grinder, got the furnace. I don't have a color mixer yet, but uh, I think that's okay. I don't have a mailbox either, so maybe I should do that at some point. And I don't have a weather station either. So maybe a mailbox and a weather station might be good at some point. And then all the rest is decorations. Could make some decorations. Or I could just not have any decorations! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, so... I think... Oh, is it saying it's got zero decorations around it? Is that maybe, is it maybe like, does that maybe give a boost to my house or something? Might do.
But for colour station and all that, I'm going to need another blinking shed, aren't I? Man. I could put one around there, actually. Or one around this section here. I could put one just um, perpendicular to the... Is it perpendicular? Yeah, perpendicular to the uh, little grinder. Maybe. Um, yeah, so anyway, I want to run off. Uh, just going to check my inventory's empty first. It is. Going to run off and check out the other areas now. In the dark and the rain, because that seems like sensible way to do it, right? I still don't have enough carry oil to increase my sprint speed or anything like that. I might make the path maker pretty soon as well. That might be a nice upgrade. But I think I've done quite well with the upgrades so far. I think we're keeping kind of on track with the progress we're making in the areas, which is quite nice. So yeah, I just I think by the end of this second episode, I want to know at least what areas I'm dealing with. I turn on my light, I think. Well, it's just getting dark, isn't it? So we oh, head on yeah, through. Yeah, there's a bunch of them littered around the planet. Never did figure out who left them. I tried scanning them with all my instruments over and over. Got nothing to show for it. Yeah. Feel free to scrutinize them. Maybe you'll spot something I missed. I will scrutinize them, but probably later in the game we'll come back to them all, I think. So we're going this way. It's all around here, isn't it? And I'll see I'll see what I can do if there's anything that I can clear or or if not. I've now got my vacuum upgrades. Oh, I didn't check the lowland peaks, but okay, let's check the new areas first anyway. Um, oh, is it? How do I get to it? Down this way? Oh yeah, I might be able to jump onto that rock. You've just got to be very careful. Mountainside coast. Right, so what have we got here then? Slimes, so what kind of slimes are they? They look... Oh yeah, I need an upgrade for this area, so we'll tick that off as one we can't do yet, and I'll head on to the next one, see if that's one I can do. I might be able to clear up the weeds ahead of time. If I am waiting on upgrades and things, and maybe coming here and clearing up... Um, I've come across a weed, I'll check it. But I think we'll just get through to the next area first. Okay, so this counts, this is yellow forest, so looks like we've got some weeds here. Can we up, uh, take these weeds away? It looks like we can, okay. It might be an entirely weed thing. Uh, these look like weeds that maybe required my upgraded hose. I will never know for sure on that one. Upgrade a vacuum even. But I do know I need a, a, an upgraded vacuum for the lowland plains. So we'll need to go and check that at some point. But yeah, this looks like an area that I can maybe clear. Um, yeah, those slimes look like normal sl strong slimes. Oh! I need water. Oh, there's some. I think. Is it? Is that water? Over there? No. Okay. Sucks. Well, never mind. Should have brought a whole water tank with me, shouldn't I? Let's look on the map, see if I can find- Oh! No! I don't know where the water is because I don't know how to have the map for this place. Well, that's a terrible place to go, isn't it? Let's just look around up here, I guess. looks like a place I'm going to probably fall over. Uh, oh, wait, there's more weeds here I can suck up, so that'll be good. I'll at least do that. Oh gosh, there's loads of them. 
Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, I've got some water. I can fill up my hose and start getting the noxious slimes as well, then. Perfect. My tank, even. It's not my hose I'm filling up, is it? My water tank. Not sure it's water I'd want to drink by the colour of it, but Quite a lot of weeds under this uh, this awesome looking skeleton here. Apparently there were dinosaurs here recently. Who would have known? It's an archaeological treasure. We're nearly halfway through. Perfect. Okay, I think we need to go back this way again. It look like the end of that little trail of weeds. I can see one over there sneaking away. Sneaky little weeds. And there's a noxious slime here as well. In fact, it wasn't a weed, it was just the noxious slime, I think. It would probably be smart of me to fill the tank before I run off and do other things. This is an area where it actually might be harder to find the stuff than anything else. Oh, actually, I say that. I think it's all here. They're over here as well. Look at all this. Crazy times. to go back up the slope once this kind of as I say they kind of have little trails of them almost don't they right we're 75% of the way through I know that there's still some noxious slimes to grab somewhere but probably a lot of this will be I again don't think I'll have had this done for the morning time But I still think that that's maybe okay. I've still got at least one, maybe two more days in me. Full days. I don't know why I'm like obsessively picking up all the plant fibers. <laughs> I'm gonna have millions of it. I have more than I can store. We're on 94%, so guess what? We need to go find those noxious slimes that were around the corner here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there they are. I remembered where they were. I'm awesome. Yay! Regen restored. Once I think it gives you... Laugh returns. Nice work. I just just before morning I as well. What the R in Two in one day. For. It's robust. There were a few other models like nimble, efficient, adaptable, and so on. I was built to last. The others weren't. One okay, one, you're awesome, Piper. Went out. It was a hundred or so years ago. Mm -hmm. The last oh, one no. went dark. Been pretty lonely ever since. So we've restored both the Yellow Forest and Stepstone Peak in one day. Of course, we are awesome. There's blue crystals there. There's some interesting little twiggy looking things. The 
Look at that. We've got two more to go on that door and it's opened. Hey, hope you're well and Restore we're right here. Yesterday felt great. Maybe there are some more good to be done around here. Keep a lookout, will ya? What? I need the spike saw to be upgraded again to get the blue crystals? Well, okay then. Anything else I can grab around here that'll be interesting? More blue crystals. Oh, something up there, look. That looks like a new metal. Iron. I also need my spike saw upgraded to get that too. Okay. Hello? Ooh. Can you hear me? Well, Hello? Hey. Sounds like one of your neighbors is trying to reach out. Doesn't seem like the signal's strong enough though. Let's make our way uphill to get better reception. Do we happen to be right by? All right. Looks like this spot is our best bet to catch that signal from before. If yeah. we build a radio tower right here, I bet you we'll be able to send a reply. So what do we need then? Radio tower. Oh, right, okay. Started building a radio tower. So it needs 12 hardwood. I wonder if there's trees around. There's some thicker trees around here. I might be able to get hardwood. Three aluminium electronics, five aluminium frames, and eight copper ore. Okay, so I think I could get the hardwood probably around here. There's some big fat trees, um, um, although maybe I'll need a... Sp no, I can definitely get... If I can find the right tree for it. Like these ones, they look like good hardwood trees. Yeah. I needed, what, 12 hardwoods. So that's seven from that one. There's a few around here, but I just don't want to, like... I hate going up slopes in this thing. It's horrible. Might be able to get that one. One might be gettable as well. And then I could put the hardwood in. The more I can put into it, like the less I have to remember. So I know it's eight copper, five aluminium frames, the hardwood, and then it was either aluminium, this is where I forget, you see, aluminium electronics or aluminium parts. I think it was electronics, and I think it was three. Let's put the hardwood in. I'm blocking it. Okay. Then five frames, three electronics, and eight ore. Okay, we could go and get that easily at home. Um, but I want to look out, look out for those like twiggy things on the way. Oh, there's some down there. Where's home? Home is like that direction. These might be a new thing to... Oh, zapper twigs. Okay. Can I harvest these? I can. Right. So we can make zapper twigs now. How many Poor of them can thing. I... You must oh, sorry. Get the out of them. How many of them can I find around here? Because if I can find enough, I can plant a whole field of them. I see zapper twig oil as one of the things to upgrade. I'm not finding that many zapper twigs though. Oh, there's one. And I also need to look at the other new region that we upgraded. Which is, was it Stepstone? Oh, a white colour flower. Definitely want that. That is a new resource discovered in this area and there's also a blue one because what I want to do ideally is to know how many resources I've got so we've definitely got those blue gems and the and the iron it looks like we've got coal here and then there's something else it might be a red colour flower though we might have all of the colours or something I don't know 
But at the moment, we're mostly interested in zapper twigs. And then I need to upgrade my spike. So I need to see what is required for spike upgrading. There's more here. There's loads of them around this skeleton boy. All right, let's have a look. Where's home? I think I might need to go like that way. Or I might be able to just go s somehow straight across, but that might be a more dangerous way home. Oh, there's like a sort of a path here. Maybe I could use that somehow. Go through these ruins? Yep, another ruin site. I wonder what it has in store for us. If you're worried about alien monsters, don't be. These things have not moved an inch since I first arrived. Whoever used to live here has not been around for a long time. Okay, this isn't a, a useful way to get home, but I don't think it's a way that we can get up here. Oh yeah, look, it's that... Oh! We can get into there from there? Okay, cool. So the yellow forest is actually really accessible from our farm. Perfect. That is good to know. All of my crops are ready. Basically. But now I've got zapper twigs. So we can plant those as well. And then I need to go and check out the other site because there'll probably be more things to plant there as well. Zapper twigs! Right, so what I need now is a spike upgrade so that we can get the new materials. Seed shooter, so what are we going to want to do? Probably some Karoot seeds first then. Then we're going to want some Rabbage seeds. Why are we short rabbit seeds? I don't know. We didn't get enough back some for some reason. And then poly berries, which we do have enough of. Great I'm going to have to see what the deal is with that, aren't I? Not shooting. Do I have any more rabbit seeds around? In my seed box? roots. I'll put them all away, my rabbages and my polyberries and everything like that. Um, that's really annoying. Oh, I can finish the barrel off as well now. No, I can't. Oh, I can, yeah, because I've got the hardwood there as well. It has 90 space. I'm going to put all of my plant fiber in there, I think. Oh, it has 60 space, but it's smaller. So, it's fine. So my leftover plant fibre can just go in there then. That's fine by me. I don't mind that too much. So, like, just a big plant fibre overflow barrel there. Wonderful. Okay, so I need to upgrade this spike badly. Let's have a look at what is needed for spike Straight upgrade to legs, huh? two. 
uh, carrot oil and aluminium electronics times five. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard to do actually. Let's start on a load of carrot oil. I might even have enough. I've got eight and then I've got uh, 24 carrots. So let's just make those into oil then. That should be enough. And then I need aluminium electronics. So I'm going to need some aluminium and some copper. Ooh, do I only have six copper left? Oh, no, I don't. I've got loads of copper. Put away my leftover carrots. We'll make copper wire times five. And then we'll make aluminium electronics. Times five. And I'll sleep the night and then the carrot oil should be done by the time I wake up. Day 13. Right, so time to work on basically what I can get out of my new areas. Let's build something jaw-dropping today. Something that'll inspire us while we do a hard day's work. Yeah, I had one that was specifically for metal. Is it this one at the front? Yeah. Alright, let's get my spike upgrade and then we can go and get more different metals. And if I can get hardwood on the way, we can make more barrels for things, and that's going to make take a lot less space up, isn't it? Uh, right, so... Inventory capacity... Spike upgrade 2. Lovely. Power core to upgrade this damage on it. I think the first power core should be for the thruster boost, but 50 ravage oil, wow. I should keep making Karoot oil though, because that sprint speed, that would be super useful. Another rainy day, which I love so much when I don't have to water, it's amazing. Right, so I've got my spike upgrade, um, but we haven't checked out the, the other new area, have we yet? Oh, also, I haven't made the clay to put on there. Do I have stone dust to make clay with, or do I need more stone dust? I may have just put stone dust away. I want that furnace done, so... I have one stone dust. Okay, let's put some more stone in. Make some more stone dust while I'm out. I'll put that stone away and then we'll run over to... Yeah, I'll check out both new areas and just see what kind of... Um, uh, what box do I want it in? I don't want to be carrying that copper if I can help it. It is technically in the wrong box, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Right. Good old empty inventory, which is what you want when you're going off exploring. Did I put on Karoot oil? I bet I didn't. Nope. Because I might nearly have enough, you never know. And I've got ravages as well, but we'll do 12 Karoot oil for now. And then I'll head out. Let's 
So in the yellow forest I found zapper twigs and what I think might be iron or steel. Was it iron? No, it was iron, wasn't it? I'm sure it said it was iron. for a better thruster boost. Right, we're nearly there. And so this area is all brand new. <clears throat> and may have a new crop type. Uh, at the moment it seems like it's one crop type per area. I'm going to see something here. Poor thing. Your mech scared the daylights out of them. See something in here as well. What's this then? A fossil fish. Okay, so what I might need to do is uh, let my human go in here. And grab that. And then let my mech vacuum it up. There we are. Resource discovered. Cool. Grow maize seeds. Okay. You want any more of that anywhere? It would be nice if I could have more than three, but if three is all I can get, that's fine. Also, can we have more hard... Is this hardwood up here? Because if it is, then I'll grab that. There's also yellow chroma, chroma flowers. This all looks like it's hardwood, actually. Yeah, can't see. Yellow colour flower. Bit of hardwood, I think. Yep. So I get two hardwood trees. That's one new barrel. And barrels are so tiny that I could maybe have a barrel for copper, a barrel for iron. Anything else I can build, like, storage-wise? No. Just those so far. Okay. I'm not seeing any more of that chrome stuff though. I might have to come up here and build up a supply of the seeds. I'll plant what I've got. And I'll make the oil because um, then I'll... If I make the oil of it, then I can see if there's anything that can be made from it. And like I said, I'll come up here as they replenish and I'll grab more. Oh, oh look here. Okay. More iron. And with my spike saw upgrade, I can grab that. Very nice. I can make iron bar, iron electronics. I can make a bigger house and iron parts and iron frames. Cool. So how are we doing for stuff here? So um, I need to grow the corn mazy stuff. We've got two types of cauliflower. There's something else though. I wonder what. Maybe if I leave it a few days, it'll uh, come up with whatever the third thing is. It might have, might have. Well, actually, I would say if it, it says it's got coal already, so there's something else. Maybe it has blue gems as well. Some kind of gem. I'm not seeing a ton of other stuff around here. A water watcher tree, spikes or upgraded. I would feel terrible taking those down, but I have a strong suspicion. They actually show up on the map, water watcher trees. So I have a strong suspicion that they might be important for like a really particularly nice wood or something. 
Oh, it'd be sad to take one of those down, though. Actually, I need to go back, don't I? Because I, what I haven't done yet for the is the radio tower. Oh, we're going over time now, aren't we? All right, then. So we've explored the areas now. I've got my spike upgrade. So maybe next episode can be all about uh, doing the radio tower. So how about I take us home? And we'll end there. And then I can quickly nip across. I can make... In fact, why don't I go home and make the things that are needed? Or why don't we go over a little bit? red cauliflower i'm trying to get all the cauliflowers because what i want to know is when i'm on the map what resource where am i missing a resource i need to know exactly what resources i have in each area but at the moment pine heights the meadows and edge cliffs we know all of the resources there's one missing on stepstone and there's two missing on uh yellow forest so I'll need to work out what those are. Although I think that one of them will be a blue stone. There'll be one more thing that I can get there that I don't know about. Oh, one of them will be the zapper twig, won't it? That'll be the zapper twig and the blue stone. So that's fine. And that one will just be the crow maze, which we'll need to plant when we get home. Cool. Oh, where am I? Home is this way. So yeah, we'll get home, we'll plant the quarry maze, I'll make all the stuff for fixing the radio tower, and then at the beginning of next episode then, I'll have all the stuff ready to fix the radio tower. Um, so I'll just finish off the evening, I think. Bit of a longer episode, but that's fine. Um, I'm sort of, the idea of this is to get as much done over the weekend as I can, and show you as much as I can over the weekend, and then if the videos do well enough, you can have a couple more, maybe, and see if we can sort of finish off, finish it off a bit more. But if it doesn't do so well, then... I mean, so far, the first episode is doing great, so, you know, we'll see how it drops off. Alright, so we've got one more planter here, which will be for the crow maze. No. I don't want to plant it like that. Why would it do that? Ugh. Really? Not Fine. Sure. Fine. See if I care. So then I need to make... Uh, I need to get some copper ore. How are we doing on the stone dust? Did I pick that up? I think I must have done. Show. We'll quickly make some clay as much as we can. Maybe not as much as we can. Let's make seven. How much was needed? Seven, apparently. Yeah, well, that was a good guess. Um, I'll put the rest of the stone dust away. I've got 20 hardwood, so we can make some more barrels. Seems like I need to, straight away. <laughs> we can make good use of this. Yeah. I don't know if they're quite square, but... Um, how about we have one barrel for copper? One barrel for aluminium? In its entirety. Oils are still there, which is fine that's fantastic we're getting towards the amount of oil we need for the sprint upgrade which is perfect um color flowers and color flower seeds i don't really know what i'd do with a fossil i'll stick it in there i guess um then wood and stone and actually iron ore can go in there for now because that's going to be a little bit less ridiculous and then a bit of fiber in there that looks decent. So yeah, once the zapper twigs and the crow maze grow, then that will be like one of the things there and one of the things there. I think once I get around there to and I harvest a few of the blue crystals, that'll be everything from each of those. 
Then we're going to need to upgrade the mountainside coast and lowland plains. And for that, I, I believe the lowland plains are going to need a vacuum upgrade. I haven't checked. But I have a feeling that this is going to be the hard slime and this is going to be the hard weeds. Or hardest weeds. We found a lot of the stuff there already. Wow, but there's going to be some new materials that we don't have in these areas, which will be really, really cool. Um, so uh, let me just do the things I need for the radio tower, because that was what we were going to do. I'm getting a bit, little bit like caught up in other things. So we wanted three aluminium electronics, five aluminium frames. So I need all my aluminium and copper are basically back out. I'll just stick it all in and then I'll see what I can make out of it. So we want five frames. So I'm going to want three wires. I'm going to want three electronics then. I'm going to want five frames. And then eight copper bars. Yeah, we've still got enough. So if I put away the aluminium so I'm not over encumbered again. I don't think I am actually, which is nice. Put that in its little barrel. And then... I want to keep 8 of 15. So I want to put 7 away, is that right? Yeah. So that's exactly the right things I need for the radio tower. So I think we're going to sleep for the night. And then I am going to continue this in the morning. The other thing is, I, have, I haven't actually looked at my furnace since. So I can make clear glass, red glass, and iron bars. I'm thinking that it might be a good thing for me to try and make some uh, glass and see whether the lens recipe shows up once I've made it, because I can see lenses are needed for quite a few things. So that would be quite cool. And obviously we've just found blue, so I imagine once we dig up the blue stones, we'll get blue glass. It would make sense. So uh, we still need to restore the lowland plains and the mountainside uh, coast, sorry, build the radio tower, craft a colour in the flower press and build a fodder oven, but I'm not interested in the fodder oven right now. Like I say, I think that'll be better when I start to need more resources rather than when I'm just trying to get things sorted and build up my base. So I think that's going to be it for today. I think I'm just going to turn the day over or just like jump out of my mech, you know, could do that instead turn the day over and then we are going to end the episode there so that was wonderful we got a load done that episode we've got two more areas cleared i don't know Mount whether i'll be able to get two more Let's cleared we can do now that we got a new building on the farm <laughs> i don't know um whether we'll be able to do a ton with the <laughs> sorry i don't know if we'll be able to do it as much as that uh, next episode because obviously we've got some really big upgrades to do um if you bear with me we're gonna need harvester it. harvester two so i'm gonna need blue lenses steel e electronics and batteries i'm imagining zapper twigs are somehow involved in making batteries but i don't even know how to make a battery yet i don't know how to make steel yet and i don't really know how to make a blue lens yet so we're going to try and work that out next time. Um, and then the irrigation hose upgrade will need a red lens, two red lenses and iron parts. So the, the red lenses might not be so hard because I already know how to make red glass. And the iron parts, I think I already know how to make. So that might not be too bad, but the battery might be really hard. So I think that lowland plains area, I will check it, but I've got a strong suspicion. Like when I'm over there next time, get getting iron or copper or whatever, I'll just pop down there and I'll see if it does require a vacuum harvester upgrade. But I would imagine it would, you know, <laughs> it would make sense. Plowing fields, you can. Oh wow, we can make fields on the ground eventually. That's really cool. I do want to do so many of these upgrades, but I'm just trying to kind of keep it to the things I, I need um, a little bit. Irrigation hose range. Oh, that would be really good when the noxious guys come calling. But it's all the same stuff. It's all blue crystal, iron, um, lenses, power cores, lock on targets. 
Okay, yeah, there's loads of stuff to do, but but it's cool. It's cool. Anyway. Time for some action. Basically, I think the irrigation hose with the red lenses and the, the iron parts is going to be the next thing that we try and go for. That will then clear us out the mountain uh, coast. Then we'll see if we can make batteries and things like that, and that will allow us to do the lowland plains. Then I'm going to try and see if I can work out how to get across here. But it just seems like that is a recipe for disaster right now. Not really sure how I'm going to get across there, but we'll, we'll look into that again next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.